in the in the moment I knew it was uh, for the first 15 meters I didn't quite know what was going to happen. Um, I knew it was, you know, like I had said earlier, it was going to be a dog fight. But um, you know, before yesterday morning or before this morning, excuse me, my mind isn't all right yet. <laughs> before this morning, um, I would have stood behind my words that, that I said last night all day. Um, I honestly thought the swim this morning was going to be more like a 415 or 416 and when I saw 412 um, you know I thought I might be in the running for tonight so I looked at the looked at my swim and looked at what I could have done better and put together kind of a game plan and hit it tonight and you know it just happened to work out this time so you know, I'm really really excited for the next two years now uh, I was not expecting my my swims to be anywhere close to as fast as they have been this summer so um, you know it's a great great starting point heading to into the next two years I, I don't know I just I, ever since I was a little kid I was just very very competitive and um, you know in, in the heat of the moment you know I may I may joke around it before about it about it before the, the event and I may not be feeling all that great but in the heat of the moment you know I'm willing to make myself throw up blood if I have to to get my hand on the wall first and obviously it doesn't always work out that way but it makes it especially sweet when it does um, you know a lot of it is is been the, the great aerobic backing that I've had not only training with John for the the London Olympics but also that great aerobic base that the University of Michigan training has given me and, and now I've been kind of able to use that backbone of training and, and go down to swim Mac and, and really kind of hone all of my skills and that's not to, not to undermine anything that goes on in Michigan at all they're obviously a fantastic program and they're winning national championships again it's just that uh, you know we're able to with a smaller group we're able to have that much more attention to detail and I mean you know just a couple months ago we, we spent a couple of hours just literally working on push-offs not kick not streamline just well kind of streamline but working on just push-offs and that kind of attention to detail like I said I haven't seen anywhere else and I'm really excited to be a part of some that.